Welcome back to RC Foam Fighters Bulletproof RC Plane Build Along Number One. Um, we have a few more things to finish up Phase One, um, so let's go ahead and jump right back into the build. As you can see, I've already uh, glued the KF airfoils onto the wing, and I'm getting ready to bevel the leading edges with the handheld hot wire and reshape them um, with the rasp and the sandpaper. Um, but before I do that, I'll just have a few quick notes on gluing on the KF airfoils. Um, basically, I just use the 3M90 glue again and make sure that you spray both sides, um, the wing and the bottom of the KF airfoil before you glue it on there. Um, let it sit for about a minute or two before you attach them. And the main thing you want to remember when you're lining them up, the most important part is going to be along the trailing edge of the KF airfoil and the center line. So when I glued them on, I started at this point here and made sure that it lined up good on the line and then just lay the piece down and make sure it's lining up against the back line as well. Um, once that glue is tacky on both of these and you set it down, you're not going to be able to move it. So you just want to make sure you got it lined up really good when you set it down and just work your way from the center out. Um, once you do have it glued down, set a board on top of it with some kind of weight until it dries just to make sure that it's flat and make sure that the wing is sitting on a flat surface too when you glue them down. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and start beveling the leading edges on the wing. Um, we're doing this the same way we did on the trailing edge. We're going to cut it first with the handheld hot wire and then shape it with the rasp and sand it with the sandpaper. All right, before we bevel the leading edge of the wing with the handheld um, hot wire, we're going to need to mark a line um, we need to make it an inch and a half inward on this end and an inch and a half inward on this end and then lay the straight edge down and draw your line. We're just going to be using that as a basic guide and do the same thing on this side as well. Um, we're going to go ahead and bevel it the same way. When we use the hot wire we only really want to cut in about halfway to the line. So that way we'll have a high spot that we can use also to shape the airfoil in the front. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and bevel these tra our leading edges and we'll turn it back on when it's all beveled and we'll go ahead and uh, shape it with the rasp. Oh, one last thing. Remember, don't take it all the way down to the center line. Leave yourself a little bit there. We're probably only going to come down about half the thickness from the top edge here. To where the center line is. Take it down just a little bit past where the um, eight millimeter stops and then that way we can have some left foam left over here to use to help shape the airfoil as well. Alright now that I've got the leading edge of the wing beveled with the handheld hot wire um, it's time to use the rasp again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shape it the same way we did earlier with the trailing edge. Um, as you can see, I left some here near the center line, and I didn't cut all the way to the line here either. I left the high spot, so we're going to basically shape it again the same way we did. We want to round it off so it's not just a straight cut. Um, I'm going to go ahead and round off the edges again the same way we did with the rasp. Remember, it works best going side to side, and don't pull it back and forth because it will grab too much foam. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bevel these edges and shape them and contour them and I'll turn the video back on when it's done. Once we have the leading edges all beveled with the rasp, um, basically all we want to do is finish smoothing it out with the sanding block. Um, you want to make sure that it has a nice rounded contour and since it's already almost all the way done we can go ahead and go all the way to the line so we can get rid of it so that way when we go to ahead and tape it up it won't show up so basically you just want to contour the rest of it with the sanding block and erase the line smooth it out you can't see it anymore and that way you'll get a lot cleaner tape job when we're done um, after I get done doing these we're going to go ahead and lay a another layer of uh, Henry's weave on top of the airfoil and we'll go ahead and turn the video back on when I get ready to do that. Okay, as you can see we have uh, 
the second layer of a uh, weave laid down on top of the KF airfoil. Basically, I just took two strips and ran them uh, crisscross to the original ones. Going, these ones go forward and backward, and these ones are going at almost 45 degrees angle to the weave on here, which should help really stiffen up the wing. Uh, one quick note before I go ahead and spray the glue on here. Um, I wanted to let everybody know that I did have to use a little extra Henry's from another roll. One roll is not going to be enough to put the second layer down. So um, it's pretty much up to you whether you want to do this or not. The reason I'm putting it on there is because I did not put a spar in it and I know that it will stiffen up the wing considerably. Um, it was already pretty stiff without it. I don't think it would be a problem not to put the second layer on there because um, we're still going to tape the leading edge with some strapping tape just to protect it. So depending also on what motor you decide to run, um, as long as you have something that's going to be powerful enough to push the extra weight, I wouldn't worry about putting the second layer. But if you're concerned about weight, you can probably go ahead and not put this layer of weave on there and the wing should be fine the way it is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, spray the adhesive on and we'll be right back. Okay, now the Henry's weave is already uh, glued on to the top of the KF airfoils. Um, the next thing you need to do is uh, add a little bit of this 3M crossed weave strapping tape to the leading edge and the trailing edge. Um, basically all we're going to do is put it centered right on the edge of the wing and fold it over to the top and over to the bottom to connect the two pieces of the fiberglass. Um, basically you just need to cut a strip that's a little bit longer than the leading edge and center it on the edge like I was just showing and fold it over. Um, if it's a little bit longer you can trim it off after you've got it folded over. After you do the second side also you're going to need to put a piece along the trailing edge as well. Do it the same way. Just center it on the edge and cut it a little bit longer than it needs to be. Fold it over on both sides and it'll connect the two pieces of fiberglass. And it'll give us a good strong place to mount our hinges later too. Alright, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, wind up the video for this one. Um, the next video will be coming out in a few more days. We'll be finishing phase one. Um, we'll be making the wooden plate for the back which should complete the airframe um, and then after that we'll be starting phase two we'll be installing all the equipment. Alright thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters and I'll see you soon.